In this video I'm going to show you how to take an image using the uh, Pixlr.com, which is P-I-X-L-R.com, using the free editor from Pixlr. Take an image and either scale it down or uh, change the aspect ratio so that you can upload it to your website and get the right, uh, the right look. So we'll start with uh, the easy task, which is to uh, scale an image down. So we'll go ahead and open up an image, and I've got a stock image here that uh, will probably be a good example of the kind of image that you would use uh, that you might want to scale down. So this is a um, a view of the downtown Denver skyline and it's sort of square, right? Like it's about as wide as it is tall. And if we look in the lower left hand corner of the Pixlr window, we'll see here that it's 1024 by 800. So uh, first of all, that's really big for the web. You know, most pictures on the web are five, six, eight hundred pixels wide max. And second of all, it's just a little too square. So we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this down to 800 pixels in width. So what I've done here is gone to image, image size, width, and I'm just going to put in 800. It's very important that this constrained proportions box is checked. That's the default. If you uncheck that, you'll end up skewing your image. It'll look really bad. So just leave that box checked. Okay, so now our image is a little bit smaller. But it's still sort of square, right? So what I want to do is get the cropping tool out, which is what's uh, selected here. And I want to just kind of maybe make this a little more rectangular. So I'm going to draw this out the way that I want, move it around until maybe it's got the features that I'm looking for. And then when I'm all done, I'm just going to double click. So now I went from an image that was 1024 by 800 sort of square to an image that's now 800 by 507. If I want to make that an even 500, uh, I can just uh, sort of play with it. You'll see in the navigator in the upper, upper right hand corner, whenever I have the cursor on the screen and I'm moving it, you'll see there are numbers uh, being displayed. So uh, you'll have to figure that out, but this is exactly 800 by 500. So anyway, that's how I would uh, scale an image and crop it, um, but sometimes you end up with an image that you can't really crop. So let's take a look at another image here, um, and I guess I'll show you. It's really easy once you're done with the image to export it. All you're going to do is hit the uh, File, Save button, and then make sure you choose My Computer. Give it a name that you understand, or that you're going to be able to recall. Set the quality uh, probably about 90. Going over 90 really doesn't make a whole lot of sense for most of the images that are on the web. And when I hit OK, it's going to ask me where on my computer I want to save it. So uh, I typically will save it to the desktop, but just if I'm just going to upload it again, but whatever you want to do, right? So anyway, I don't need to save this, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and close it. Let's say that I have an image. I'm going to open another image up on my computer uh, that isn't really croppable. So let's just take a look. So this is a floor plan, plan image, and I want this image to be square, but if I get the crop tool out and I start trying to square this image up, uh, I'm going to run into trouble. So first thing we'll do is we'll grab the corner of this image just to give it a little bit more of a, make it a little easier to understand what this image is, right? So uh, that's where that is, just in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see some errors come, arrows come up and you can make this uh, box, uh, this window, bigger or smaller. Uh, so if I just get the crop tool out and I say, well, I want to square this up, I'm going to end up leaving some of the floor plan off. And that's not good, so I'm going to undo that. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale this down to the right height, and then we're going to copy it over onto a new background. So let me show you what I mean. First, uh, we need this image to be no more than, let's say, 600 pixels in height. 600 or maybe 800 pixels is the absolute tallest you want your pictures to be most of the time uh, on the web. Anything taller than that doesn't really, uh, it loads slowly, and uh, on a lot of screens you can't really see it on the whole page. So. Uh, let's set it at 600, which I would recommend for floor plans, for example. Um, okay, so now it's quite a bit smaller, right? Like, oh, no, it's too small. Well, the reason is down here in the left-hand corner, you see this 20%. We're looking at a zoomed uh, in, a zoomed out version. So um, over here where you see the 20%, you can just move this bar and get it out to 100%. And you'll see why I said that 600 is awfully big, because at 100%, I still can't see the top and the bottom of the image, um, just because the browser window, even though my screen's fairly good sized, the top of my browser window takes up some space and some other things. Uh, if you've got, like if this were an article for instance, you'd probably have some text down here. So I'm going to set this at like 80 or 85% just so we can see it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new image 
and I'm going to make this image rectangular. Um, now there's a preset here for 800 by 600, and that's not at all a bad preset. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set that, but I actually might make it just a little bit taller instead of 800. Maybe I'll make it, uh, or, or instead of wider. So 800, I'll make it 1,000. Oh, it's even a little more rectangular. So now I've created a blank white image um, that's 1,000 pixels wide and 600 pixels tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this image over out of my way. I'm going to grab the sample floor plan. And I'm going to hit Select All. Okay, then I'm going to hit Copy. I'm going to go back to my new image. I'm going to hit Paste. Now that's going to paste this floor plan in the very middle of a big white image. And this would be great if I were going to upload this to a website that displayed photos of properties, photos of, of um, floor plans or whatever. I would know that this image was the correct uh, aspect ratio, right? So it's wider than it is tall. Um, but yet it still has quite a bit of detail because it's 600 pixels high. So maybe I can't see every detail of the floor plan, but I can see quite a bit. So now that I've created my new image, I'm just going to save this. Uh, and just like I did before, I'll save it to my computer. I'll give it some sort of obvious name, like, you know, floor plan. And um, maybe I'll say that this is a cropped version so I don't get them confused. And then I'm going to set my quality to 90 and push the button and choose where I want to save it. So uh, this is how we use the free Pixlr editor to both scale and crop images, but also in the instance where we have an image that's way too tall, right, so much taller than it is wide, we can use um, this new image feature to create the image we need and then just copy and paste.